Well, first of all, quite a nice start to the day. It feels. Got myself a trail camera the other day, and we've got the first footage of a Tasmanian devil. First footage. Very excited about that. Um, we're down in the Tasman Peninsula, aren't we? Oh yeah. And so we just checked that. We came here yesterday, and there was a roadkill right outside the um, accommodation where we're staying. So we put it in the tree line, not far away. And literally, the next day there's 76 videos of, uh, <laughs> of it munching away, so that's really good. Um, so down here in the Tasman Peninsula is actually, it's like a haven for healthy devils because it's, there's like one very thin slither of land to get into the area. So um, they've actually put a devil proof fence to stop devils with the facial tumor disease getting into the peninsula. So there's only healthy devils down here and then they reintroduce them and reintroduce healthy ones so, to like give genetic diversity. So this is almost like a wild insurance population, so it's really cool. Today we're going to see, we're going to do a very nice hike. We're going to the candlestick. <laughs> we're going to the candlestick. The candlestick's beautiful. Here you've got this rock, the same proportions as a candlestick, coming straight up out of the water. 400 foot high. There's a very cool climbing video from the, well, it's just a video from ABC, like a mini documentary from the 70s of this group of blokes who climb this pillar of stone sticking out of the ocean. And it's ridiculous. Climbers dubbed the Candlestick Australia's most inaccessible pinnacle. Soaring 400 feet up out of an angry sea on Tasmania's southeastern tip, flanked by vertical cliffs, the Candlestick is guarded by nature. And it's a really fun little documentary. And it's also a very nice walk, so we're quite excited to see that um, pillar, which they call the candlestick, and to do this nice walk. So that's where we're up to. And it's really nice driving so far. Yeah, we're driving through some forests. This area is like a huge national park, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right next to Port Arthur. We're probably technically, oh, this is, I think, Forest Street. But by the time we get to the end, we'll be in the, do I say, Fortescue? Yeah, Fortescue, Fortesque. be a nice day. It's uh, supposed to be a really nice walk. It's a highly rated trail and I think it's going to be about four hours in total. Um, so yeah. Pack some snacks. Just Pack some snacks. Pull from the general store. Yep, it's right there in the back. We saw a little echidna as well on our way out. So today we've seen an echidna in the morning and on video we've seen a Tasmanian devil. Pretty good day so far. Pretty good day so far. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Oh, and two wedge tail eagles. Two wedge tail eagles. Flying yeah. right above our accommodation. Fortescue, Fortescue Bay, or Fortesque Bay, we haven't found out yet, no one's told us we're saying it wrong. It's pretty amazing, Tasmanian beaches are absolutely amazing I think. Very, very good. Like white sand, turquoise water, and then just the gum trees lying in the beach. Bloody amazing. Have to be some of the best beaches in Australia. I think when I came down here, I looked at it and, and I was like, whoa, it's kind of like Lake Mackenzie, you know, because it's got that crystal. Oh, yeah crystal blue water and the white sand um, but it's just not packed <laughs> what are you most looking forward to on this oh walk? oh god did you get that video oh god what am i most looking forward to <laughs> <laughs> is your head all right uh, yeah i'm fine good what are you most looking forward to what in general in life or no on this walk um oh. seeing the candlestick oh obviously. yeah the candlestick. I have to put a link, if I put this on YouTube, I have to put a link in the thing. It's one of the greatest documentaries. Which is, it's a long way, way down. down. Alright. Um, yeah, That's can't great. wait. Literally, I'm getting, I feel like I'm seeing a famous, like, famous person almost. Yeah. When we see the candlestick. Yeah. I'm also, I'm very much looking forward to seeing those Tasmanian videos later. Yes. 
Oh. Very good. All right, well, here we go. By the way, we're doing the Cape Quay track. We should say that, we should mention that. Pretty good. We've just passed our uh, like fifth person looking a mixture of really just exhausted and sad and distraught, and distraught about coming up these stairs. Look at this view. Because uh, we've been coming down these stairs for 10 minutes or so and uh, everyone else has been coming up. And then if you look on the other side, that's all stairs as well. So, yeah. Very cool if we get to see. <laughs> the thing is, it's not called the candlestick on maps. Yeah. But um, this is still a very good walk, and that view is amazing. Absolutely. Can't wait to jump in to see when we get back. Are you Are you happy that like? Not happy. I think what I'm trying to say is, are you? Um, were you expecting to see the candlestick today? I was in the beginning, and I was excited in the beginning about seeing it, but like. Halfway through this walk, I've, I'm fine with not seeing it. It's incredible. <laughs> Oof. Go. This is just so good. It's like we were saying, you go to Tasman Peninsula and drive around, and it looks like a fairly normal place from the road, doesn't it? Like you drive around and it looks quite normal, but then you go for a walk and you see this kind of stuff because the roads just don't get here, and it's got to be one of the best coastlines in Australia. Yeah, I feel like we, was, we said, like, it's kind of a secret unless you have a boat or you hike. Yeah. Otherwise you don't see it. Yeah. We were right after the emotional roller coaster. This is the candlestick. Look at that. That's the candlestick from the documentary. And I reckon that is Stank Christ Ledge. <laughs> which you'll know if you What's the documentary? Thank Christ got its name from a Tasmanian climber, Reg Williams, who got to the ledge on a giant flying fox, rigged between the mainland and the island. After his perilous journey, and he set foot in the ledge, his first words gave Thank Christ Ledge its name. And there's even a tiny little thin candlestick. That pillar there. there is really cool. That's so this nice. is the end of the Cape Track. And, yeah. I mean, Look at that. This is actually really terrifying place to be. It's really scary. Maybe the birds give it some perspective. Well mate, got the candlestick. They've made it. The candlestick's been beaten.
So fare thee well, my own true love. When it's been a hell of an undertaking, but they've done it. They've conquered Australia's most inaccessible pinnacle, the candlestick. It's all over. Looking a bit tired there, but uh, sun's getting to me a bit. Pretty hot on that rock. It's quite a climb, that. Such a long Good rock. Oh yeah. Well, we're just halfway now. Going back. I'm already puffed already. We spent a good hour at the end, I think. Yeah, just relaxing, getting some sun, having some food. Yeah, we spoke to a guy who was grew up here, and then he moved to WA when he was like 19. So had a good chat with him for a while. But yeah, can't stop taking pictures and filming stuff really because it's just amazing here. Yeah, and really bloody great walk. Just yeah, sometimes you just gotta walk a little bit to see the best places, haven't you? Yeah. That's all. Just wanted to share the beach and the sunset. We do plan on jumping into that water um, when we get down there. Bit of a well deserved dip. See how cold the water is? Yep. Oh, oh this looks weird. This is a band that Kaylee got me for my goggles. It's like the best thing ever. Sea lions are one of my top animals. Just trying to convince Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee to go in the water. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it and then I'm yeah. gonna get straight out and I'm gonna call it a day. Fine! Yeah. That's perfect. That's exactly what we came to do. I don't think it's cold. It's, I think it's cold. I think it might have been colder than this at Shoalwater. So. Yeah, everyone in Australia wears wetsuits though, don't they? <laughs> 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 What's the method of the guy that gets the knife all the time? Oh, hi. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Doesn't know why. We did a good, good time. Walk. We did a good, good time. Walk. We did a good walk. That's, That's all. Such a long way down. Such a long way down.